Hi. Uh, we're approaching the cats of Parliament Hill. Have you heard about the cats? There's a cat colony right here. I'll tell you the story about that. Now, I've been able to trace the cats, the history of the cats, back to about 1923. It's an interesting history. This is very, very popular with tourists. And I, I think one of the reasons it is, is, is you have the, the, uh, the contrast between the, 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 the cat colony here, and when you look this way, you have the wonderful parliament buildings, and, and it's the contrast is, is, I think, what makes it so interesting. Now, the, the, uh, the cat man, as we call him, Renny Chartrand, he's not here right now. He'll be here perhaps a little later on in the afternoon. He's here every day, winter and summer. He feeds the cats and he takes care of them. Now, there's an old black and white cat lying in the, on the roof, having a nap. Another orange cat on the ground. But Rene's the cat man of Parliament Hill. And Rene, Rene, um, uh, now Rene's not the first cat person on Parliament Hill. Before Rene, there was the cat lady of Parliament Hill. Irene Desormo, her name was. And she was the cat lady from the mid, oh, mid 1970s perhaps, until 1987 when she yeah, passed away. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little description of, of, the, of the cats here. Yeah. <laughs> but she died, she died in 1987, and, and uh, René, René Chartrand, lived in the same apartment as Irene, and Irene asked René if he would take over the feeding of the cats, which he agreed to do. But the history goes back further than that. Before Irene, before Irene there was a, um, another cat man, uh, uh, on, he's, he was a Senate security guard, and every noon hour, he would go into the Byward Market and get scraps of things from the butchers and, the, the, and, and, and drive back during his noon hour and, and feed the cats who in those days were on the escarpment over by the East Block. And every time, every noon when he drove up in his car, the cats would magically appear from the escarpment uh, to the parking lot where he would feed all the cats with, with, with what he had got from the market. And before that, there were the, the, uh, the cleaning staff who would feed the cats on the escarpment. In the early 1950s, the cleaning ladies, and they were there, and, and there were, there, there were also men, the, 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 the cleaning ladies would come in at, at uh, they would meet on the hill around 5.30 uh, and they would line up on the central walkway in front of the Peace Tower and there'd be maybe 60 for the East Block and another 60 for the West Block and, and so there were a large number of cleaning ladies and there were, clean, there were men too. The men did the heavy work, the moving of furniture and so on and the ladies did the dusting. But they would come here early in the morning and assemble and their work shift would go from, now I might have the times wrong, um, I'll say I'll say 5.30 to 8 o'clock, but I might, I might be off a little bit there. But they, they would show up very early, and in the very early morning, they would bring scraps of food from home. And the cats would come up from the escarpment again, and, uh, and, uh, and the cleaning ladies would, would feed them in that early morning. Long before that, around in the 1920s, the cats were actually in the parliament buildings. And the earliest story I was able to find was a newspaper article, and there was a fire in the center block, in the, just a little fire in the basement of the center block, and it was easily put out. And it turned out that mice had eaten some matches and caused paper in the center block basement to burn, and that's what the fire was. And one of the, uh, the uh, workers in the center block said, it's too bad the cats were evicted from the center block because that's how this fire started, he said. So we can infer from that that prior to that fire, the cats were inside the buildings keeping the population of mice down. So the cats have been inside the buildings and outside the buildings and, 
And uh, I don't know for a fact, I've never found uh, any evidence, but I'm sure for years before the 1920 story, even back in the Barrack Hill days, before Parliament Hill was Parliament Hill, it was a military post, and there were soldiers here and so on. And, and I'm sure even in, in, in those days there were cats around. It's, it's, it was very natural for the soldiers to have kept the cats to, there's a raccoon over there. Uh, it's the, 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 very natural for the soldiers to have kept cats around to keep the mice down. And, uh, so the cats go back a long, long way. Rennie feeds raccoons, he's got uh, uh, squirrels. All of the squirrels are named Charlie. Uh, so every squirrel is named Charlie. The cats all have different names. There's, uh, there's Blackie and there's, there used to be Big Mama, but she, she died a little while ago. But uh, it's, as you can see, it's a very, very interesting place and tourists, tourists love it.